I want to tell you the word of God this evening and be an encouragement and a help. Or we can strengthen ourselves in God's word. And uh, the Bible said, Jesus said, that men shall not live by a bread alone, but by every word that proceed from the mouth of God. Amen. And so we're going to turn to the book of Jonah for a little while. The book of Jonah, Jonah chapter 1. And I guess we all know the story there about, about Jonah. And um, I just want to encourage you, as I said here, uh, in God's precious word. Yeah. Jonah chapter 1. And um, we're going to read uh, the first four verses there. We're going to read the first four verses in Jonah chapter 1. Let's pray and ask God's blessing, and then we're going to read the word. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your holiness. We thank you for all that you have done for us, and Lord, for the privilege that you have given to us, Lord, to preach your word, to encourage one another in the word of God. And so I pray, Holy Father, that you will fill me with your power, strengthen me with your grace, Lord, that I will open my mouth, Lord, and share you the, the word, Lord, as you lay it in my heart to your people, and so that, God, we can able to strengthen one another and encourage one another. Lord, we pray this evening, Lord, God, for those that might be here, Lord, and they are discouraged. Pray that, God, the word of God will find a place in their heart. For, Lord, the word will not return unto your void, but let it accomplish purposes in our life. Bless you all to our hearts, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Uh, Jonah chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible said, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for the wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah arose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. And he went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going down to Tarshish. So he paid the fee thereof, and went, uh, and went down unto it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like unto be broken. I want to just use that passage of scripture here and share a little bit in going down. Going down. Now, if you watch Jonah life here, you realize that uh, a few passages of the scripture make mention of Jonah going down. And as man of God, we need to stand up. We need to lift up our hands and lift up our eyes unto the Lord. Yeah. And so here, as you watch the passage of Scripture here, the Bible said that the word of the Lord came unto Jonah. Yeah. Now, Jonah, as you know, as a great man of God, a prophet of God, and Jonah here had to carry out the duty and the commandment of God. Yeah. And so God said unto Jonah, he said, you know what, Jonah? I want you to arise, and I want you to go unto Nineveh and cry against it or preach against it. Why? Because the wickedness is come up before me. Right. May I say this evening, brethren, wickedness is rising up in our land. Yeah. Right. Wickedness is rising up in Grenada. Wickedness is rising up in America. Yeah. Right. Wickedness is rising up in the Caribbean and right around the world. Wickedness is rising up. Yeah. And as wickedness begins to rise up, we need some men who are going to stand up and preach against wickedness. Yeah. We need some men going to stand up and hold the word of God and preach righteousness when wickedness starts rising up. May I say this evening, brethren, when a nation or a country or individual begin to pass laws in nations and around the world and legalizing homosexual and unborn babies, that's wickedness. Right. And we need somebody who's going to stand up and take God's word and preach against it. Amen. And so the scripture said the wickedness of Nineveh rise up before God. And so to this evening, our wickedness is rising up before God. Yeah. And we need somebody going to stand up and preach against it. And so God said unto Jonah, he said, you know what, Jonah? I want you to go unto Nineveh, not somebody else. I want you to go unto Nineveh and cry against it and preach against it. But the scripture said, Jonah, flee. Yeah. Jonah removed from where God wants him and he flee. And so too well, as wickedness begins to rise up, a lot of men of God is quitting. Yeah. A lot of preachers are 
quitting. They are removing themselves from where they're supposed to be and moving themselves somewhere else. That's why Jesus said, the harvest truly is great. But laborers are few. And this is the time. Now is the time when we need laborers. Now is the time when we need preachers who are going to stand up and preach the word of God as all the word of God deserves to be preached. And so as you watch here, the scripture said in verse 2, it says, Arise and go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for the wickedness is come up before me. But the scripture said in verse 3, But Jonah rose up to flee, or, uh, to flee and to touch us from the presence of the Lord. So if you watch the scripture right here, you recognize Jonah here are disobeying the word of God. He are disobeying the commandment of God. So God said, rise up, and I want you to go that direction. Jonah rose up, and he go a different direction. Right. And so the scripture said, he flee from the presence of the Lord. So as he, as he flee from the presence of the Lord, the Bible says here, he uh, 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 went down now unto Joppa. In other words, as he flee from God, he begin to go down now to Joppa. May I say this evening, brethren? Every time you and I disobey God, we are going down. Right. Every time we flee from the presence and the fellowship of God, we are going down. Right. Anytime we flee from prayer or from the word of God or from fellowship or everything that God said, we remove ourselves from it, bet your life, we are going down. Yes, and sometimes we go down and we don't recognize how far we are going down. We don't recognize the speed we are going on with. And the, the, the amount of time we go down, the amount of time we take to go down, it's going to cause us more to come back up. Yeah. Or sometimes we don't even get back up. Because we go down so fast, we don't recognize where we are. And seeing is going to cause us to go down. Disobedience is going to cause us to go down. It doesn't matter who we are. It doesn't matter what happened. Anytime we disobey God, we are going down. So the scripture said to him, and Jonah rose up uh, to flee and to touch us from the presence of the Lord. And he went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going down to touch us. So he paid the fee thereof. And the Bible said here, yeah, and he went down. Uh, and he went down into it uh, to go with them and to touch us from the presence of the Lord. So if you watch in that verse here, one thing causes it to go down, another causes it to go down, and you'll never raise your head to come back up. So Jonah went down him, and as the scripture said here, he ended up where, not just in the, uh, into, into, into touch us, but he went down into the bottom of the ship, if you watch in the other verse. And from the bottom of the ship, he ended up where? In the bottom of the sea. Right. And then when he went up, end up there, that's when he cried unto the Lord. Yeah. He cried unto the Lord when he realized, well, there is no more place for me to go. I right now in the bottom where I did not really plan to be. Right. But sin caused him to go down. Yeah. And as men of God this evening... I want to encourage us, not just as preachers, but as every child of God, let us stand up for the Lord. Amen. Let us stand up and serve God. Let us stand up and honor God. Let us stand up and do what is right in the sight of God. Because anything, a simple thing, will cause you and I to go down, and the farther we go, it's harder for us to come back up. I want to turn and watch a passage of Scripture in the book of Judges. Judges chapter 14. Judges chapter 14, let's watch verse 1. The Bible says in Judges chapter 14, And Samson went down to Timna, and saw a woman in Timna of the daughters of the Philistine. If you watch, she realized Samson went down. Now, God has had a purpose for Samson's life. Right. The purpose for Samson's life was to deliver the children of Israel from the Philistines, from the enemy. And God has given him so much a great strength and great power. But you know what? When he stepped down, he lost his purpose. Right. When he stepped down, he lost the, the, the privilege that God gave him. Right. And so the scripture said he went down. And if you look at Judges and Samson's life, every time Samson went down, something wrong. He went down there to what? 
choose a wife. May I say this even, brethren? God gave us his word. And God knows what is best for you and I. A matter of fact, God told the children of Israel where they should and where they shouldn't choose a wife. Right. Where, where the kind of wife they should marry and the kind of wife they shouldn't marry. Right. But you see, Samson decided, you know what? I'm strong enough, I'm man enough, so you know what? I'm going to go down there and take a wife and nobody cannot do me anything because I'm strong. There is none of us inside that can match our strength with the Lord. Amen. Samson got to realize there is somebody that is stronger than him. So the scripture said he went down there to get a wife. And the Bible said his mother and his father told him, he said, listen, is there never a woman among our own people that you could get a wife here? But Samson said, you know what? She pleased me well. I'm saying, brethren, the world that we are living in pleased us well. There is a lot of attractive things in this world. There's a lot of beautiful things in this world. But may I say, any time we step out from God's commandment, from the word of God, and move ourselves anywhere else, we are going down. So Samson went down. He chose a wife there, and he did not stop there. He came back up. He chose another one. And the last one he chose, he didn't rise back up. Delilah, we know the story there. The last wife he chose, he lost his vision. He lost his strength. He lost his testimony. He lost his purpose. He lost everything that God gave him. Why? Because he made a choice to go down. I want to encourage us, brethren. Let's stand up and honor God and serve the Lord. Yeah, we may have pressure. Yeah, we may have problem. Yeah, it may not be easy all the time. But you know what? If we made up our mind to stand up and to serve God, God is going to give us the strength and the power and the courage. God is going to give us what it takes so we're going to stand up when the problem rises up, when the situation rises up, we're able to stand up and serve the Lord. Don't go down for anything, but stand up because God has given to us the word now to keep us standing. Amen. Let's turn on what's another passage of scripture. Let's look at truth. Bible mentioned in the book of Ruth. Ruth chapter 1. Ruth chapter 1, verses 1, the scripture said, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Marlon and Chilion, Ephratites of Bethlehem, Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died. And she was left and her two sons. And they took them wives of the woman of Moab. The name of the one was Ophir and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelt there about ten years. What was five? And Marlon and Chilion died also, both of them. And the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Now, if you watch the scripture here, the scripture make mention, it said him, give the name of the man Elimelech. And there a famine rise up in the land. In other words, some difficulty rise up in the land. May I say this evening, brethren, God never told us it's going to be easy. But I think God tells us he's going to be with us. He said he'll never leave us, neither forsake us. And because of the famine that rise up, Elimelech took his family and he went down. Sometimes when we're going down, we might carry somebody with us. So we got to be careful how we're going down and who we're taking with us because somebody may fall. One time Peter said, I'll go fishing. Somebody said, I'll go with you. Careful because somebody may follow you. So the scripture said him, uh, uh, Elimelech, because of the famine, because of the problem, because of the situation, he took his family and he said, you know what? We're heading down to Moab. God said, Moab is my wash pot. Yeah. And so where God, God said, Moab is my wash pot. And that's where Elimelech is carrying his family. Yeah. And so the scripture said he took them 
and it went down into Moab and not just it went down there but the Bible said they continue there they removed themselves from the place of God they removed themselves from Bethlehem Judah which is supposed to be the place of bread yeah. and now they will end up now in problem in Moab and the scripture said as they went down there uh, Elimelech died because they continue and they stayed there about 10 years 10 years from the presence of God is a long time right. 10 years from the place of God is a long time yeah. 10 years from the fellowship of God is a long time right. Right. and so the scripture said they said that 10 years why they had no intention to go back up right. because sin caused them to go farther than they really want to go right. and so they stayed there about 10 years the scripture said and they took them wives now if Emelech laid his household in the right way they would never take wives there but because he did not lead them in the right place they went there and they took wife of the, of the, the girls in Moab and the Bible make mention it said here and Marlon and Chilean died also yep. in other words they came down but never make it to go back up so Naomi was left there and Naomi was left there by herself in other words I'm left here there is no husband I have no son, I have no husband. I just left there by myself with the two girls. And the scripture said, then she decided to go back up yeah. to Bethlehem, Judah. Yeah. But you see, it was a little bit too late. Because her husband gone, yeah. her two sons gone, yeah. and then she recognized, listen, I think I am in the wrong place. I ain't supposed to be. I think I'm in the wrong place. And say, so, you know what? I'm going to try now and leave Moab. And I'm going to go back up now to Bethlehem, Judah. Bless God, she went back up. And she went back up when God started visiting his people with bread. Yeah. If we go back and watch Jonah, we may not go back then. But when Jonah went down, and the scripture said he ended up in the bottom of the sea, in the fish's belly, the scripture said, then Jonah prayed then Jonah prayed he prayed unto the Lord out of the fish's belly and he cried unto the Lord and he let the Lord know listen God I have I'm been right now in the wrong place I really and truly shouldn't be here but because of my rebellion and my disobedience I ended up in that situation and God I want to come out from me because of the mercies of God God deliver him. Yeah. You see, God is a good God. Yeah. Hence the reason why when David sinned with Bathsheba, and David wrote that the book of uh, for, uh, Psalm 51, he said, you know what, God, have mercy on me according to thy loving kindness, yeah. Yeah. according to the multitude of thy tender mercy. Yeah. In other words, I know that I was wrong, but at the same time, I can depend on the mercies of God. I can depend on the goodness of God. I can depend now because I know, though I am wrong, but God is still able to help me from here. I don't know where you are this evening. But maybe somebody might be going down. If you watch to our churches, I know you're going to argue with me, but some of our churches is going down. The attendance of some of our churches is going down. And there are times I ask myself this question. When the men of God or right now start preaching the word of God and honoring God and trying to keep things going, when our time over, who next? Yeah. Yeah. What will happen next when your time goes, brother dog? Yeah. Brother Sammy, when your time comes and you're gone, what happens next? When my time comes and the preachers and brother Mo and other men of God, when the time comes and the Lord calls us home or we cannot make it again, who next? We need some men yes, who are going to stand up and say, Lord, here am I. Yeah. We need some young people who are going to stand up and say, Lord, here am I. Yeah. Send me. Yeah. Fill me with your power. Give me the strength. Yeah. God, I am not going down. Yeah. I am not moving out of your sight. But I want to stand still and see the salvation of God. Yeah. I want to walk with you for the, for the rest of my life. I want to serve you. God, there is something that you want me to do. 
But sometimes we don't recognize that. Yeah. And we'll allow simple things to get us down. Yeah. Yeah. Stand strong this evening, brethren. Yeah. Stand strong and serve the Lord. Stand strong and serve the Lord. A lot of families are going down. A lot of preachers are going down. A lot of things are going down. And we need some men who want to stand up and preach against wickedness and preach against ungodliness and preach against sin as how sin deserves to be preached against. Sometimes we run from it, but God says, listen, I want you to stand up from it. Sometimes we flee, but God says, you know what? I want you to stand there and preach. Stand strong this evening, brethren. I want to encourage you to stand strong. Pressure may rise up. Situation will not come up. As I said a while ago, it will never be easy all the time. But we know somebody that is able. God is still able. Stand up. Don't go down. Don't go down. Stand up and serve the Lord. Father, we thank you for your grace. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your word this evening. Take your word and speak to our heart. Help us, Lord, that we will not go down. Help us, Lord, that we will stand strong. Father, we'll continue keeping the fire burning. Lord, be an example. Lord God, be a testimony. And help those, even those that, Father, going down, we'll stretch out our hands and help them so that, God, we can stand up and serve you. Bless you all. Bless these people, Lord. Strengthen the church here. Strengthen your people. And help us, Lord, to encourage one another as so much as we see the days are approaching. Have your way and will we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Did you know that you could receive a daily devotion every morning in your inbox? Head on over to ibcflorence.com and click on Daily Devotions to sign up today. And as always, thanks for listening.